Hi there, my name is Roxana Khan, and I'm an author and I'm a storyteller. And I'm going to talk about why you should read, why it's important to read. First of all, what is reading? Reading is one of the things that actually separates us from animals. Animals can't read. Anything an animal learns, no matter how smart that animal is, it's gone when that animal dies, okay? Because they can't pass on that information. But humans are different. We're the only creatures who can pass on the things we learn to future generations so that they can build upon that, that knowledge. If we couldn't read, we'd be living in caves and still trying to light fires. Basically, reading is like a code. Way in the past, someone decided that certain sounds put together made words, and words put together made ideas, and symbols could stand in for sounds. That an A would look like this, and it would sound like A, ah, and that's what they decided. In this language, that's what it means. And every language all around the world is basically like a code. It's like a code. And the first languages started out looking like pictures. I mean, this is a picture of, of some hieroglyphics. And these are some of the first languages. This is like from ancient Egypt. And you can see some of the sounds and what the picture looked like. But over time, they changed it and they had different codes. Now, if everyone learns a certain language or a certain code in an area, then they all have access to that information from that area. And if they like write down what they learned, then people can read it. And it's like they don't have to learn it for themselves. They can learn it from reading it. And if you can't read, then you can't learn from the things that people around you and people who were lived before you were born. You can't learn things from them. And you'll have to waste a whole lot of time figuring out all of that stuff on your own. But if you can read, you can know more than you could ever have learned for yourself in your lifetime. Okay, that's the beauty of reading. But why do we still need to read now when we have so much information that we can get from other forms like, like um, movies and television and all that stuff? Why can't we just wait for the movie or a show or something like that? The reason why it's still important to read is because your brain works and grows when it reads in a way that it doesn't do. Uh, it doesn't do so when it's accessing other information, like other technology. Like when you're watching a movie, it's not the same as when you're reading a book. Your brain actually has to work harder when it's reading a book. So when you're reading, your brain is making all kinds of connections and um this is a big word. It's synapses, okay? It's got all kinds of stuff that it's doing when you're reading that you're not really doing when you're just watching something, okay? So that's why it's really important to, even though we have all kinds of distractions out there, to keep on reading. It can be hard to learn how to read. Basically, you're figuring out the rules for the code, but once you get good at it, it gets a lot easier, like anything else, like practicing anything else, it gets a lot easier. And after a while, when you're reading, you're not actually reading every single word on the page. Your brain, it turns the words that are basically just ink marks on the page, it turns them into sounds and smells and touch and, 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 and things you can see. That's what really, when you get really good at reading, that's what your brain can do. Your imagination takes over. It's amazing. Now, but this only happens when you get good at reading. It happened to me when I was in grade two. In grade two, my teacher, she told us to go to the library and pick out a grown-up chapter book without pictures. I was so excited. And I chose one about a dragon. So I started reading the story, sounding out the words just like I've been shown. And all of a sudden, something very strange happened. The words on the page started to disappear. And I could actually see this dragon in fact, I was the dragon, and I was flying over this mountain, and I was having all these different adventures. I thought I was going crazy. Nobody ever told me that once you get good enough at reading, this is what your brain can do. It can. It, when I'm reading a really good story, it's better than watching a movie. Because when you're watching a movie, you're just sitting in the back, you're watching a movie. But when you're reading a really good book, it's like you're in the movie. You're like the star. And like the story is all happening to you. And it changes you.
When you read a really good book, it changes you and you will always carry that book with you for the rest of your life and you'll keep the lessons and the things you learned from that experience of reading the book. It's like that story happened to you and you will take those lessons, those life lessons that you learn and you you will become a, a different person for them, usually a better person. Now, the reading, it, it, it's like it's really happening to you too. Did you know that back back when there was slavery, a long time ago, about in the 1800s, there was something called slavery where certain people owned other people. And the slave owners, I mean, the slave owners, they owned a lot of black people from Africa. And it was against the law to teach a slave how to read. It was actually against the law because the slave owners didn't want their slaves knowing the same information that they knew because information and knowledge is power. And if you can read, then you can have access to that knowledge and that information. Now, I grew up very poor. Reading changed my future. Okay, because I was such a good reader, I went to the library and I basically read my way out of being poor. And that's what I wish so many poor kids would do. I wish they would like just embrace reading, embrace learning so that they can get out of the, the state of being poor too. Now, I went to the library and basically I read all of the children's books except for horror. I could not read horror. It scared me. But everything else, I read all lots of books and I learned so much from all of those books I read and it changed also it changed the way I spoke it changed my language I, I, I developed better language now by reading and um, by reading all those stories I was able to see that a lot of the kids in the stories that I was reading they were poor like me and I was not alone and also I learned that you know what being poor there's nothing to be ashamed of you know, it doesn't mean that you're a bad person. It just means you have less than other people. You can still be an amazing person. Just like the the kids and the characters in the stories I was reading, they were poor, but they were amazing, wonderful people. And I learned to aspire to that. So, um, but, and I wanted to be remarkable, just like those characters in the books. And you can do this too. Now, when I got older, I found, I went to the library and I found books on how to write books. And I basically, I went from being a victim of bullying. I used to get bullied a lot. And now I'm an author and I go all over the world and I'm not poor anymore. And I have like 11 books published and, and I get to meet people from all over the world and I'm not poor anymore. All because of the books I read. Now, we're so lucky. We have access to every book available through free public libraries. And yet you find, you know what the saddest thing is? A lot of the poorest kids are the ones that work their hardest not to learn anything. If they have a library card, they don't want to use it. You know, they try hard not to, to, to learn anything. And that just breaks my heart. I mean, even Oprah. Oprah's like this really famous, very, very rich lady. She used to have a show on television and everything. Even she said how books and reading changed her life. I mean, she she says that books were really the way she got out of being poor. And she was even poorer than I was. And one time she had this expert on her show. And this expert said something I will never forget. You know what this expert said? This expert said that in America... They would go to uh, an area and they would test the, the students there in grade four. And if, and depending on how well the students could read in grade four, they would plan on how many prisons that they were going to make in 20 years. Boys and girls, that's how important reading is because those kids who cannot read well by grade four the chances are they're not going to become readers. And if they don't become readers, they're not going to be good at school. And if they're not good at school, they're not going to be able to graduate and get a good job. And what they, what are they going to do to make money? Often they will turn to illegal ways to make money and they will end up in jail. That's the truth. They will end up in jail. So that's how they had to figure out how many jails are we going to have to build depending on how well the kids can read and read for that's how important it is to become a good reader. It opens up doors for you.
I know it's just easier to sit there and watch a movie. I know it's just uh, easier to play video games. or And there's a lot of distractions out there. There's nothing wrong with doing all those things. There's nothing wrong with that. But spend some time every day reading too. Get better and better so it can open up the world for you. Thank you very much.